Hi, this is Brian here. Uh, I just got my e-track today delivered and I figured I'd shake it out by checking out my yard. I've uh, went through it with my previous metal detector which was good but only went down to about five inches and I cleaned out a little bit of silver, some wheat pennies and a lot of clad. I got a signal uh, on the e-track showing uh, 1244, 1144 and I dug it up about seven inches down and uh, found my first silver with the e-track. It's a, it's a Roosevelt dime. If I get this camera to focus, sorry for that. It's a Roosevelt dime. 1959, it's the year my mom was born. All right, this is Brian here again. First 100 hours of the e-track. I was uh, digging a signal here I found a pocket spill actually, 85 cents in uh, clad dimes and nickels. And I dug down and I saw some silver. I looked at it and uh, it's a silver Canadian dime. It's a 1968, so that means it'd be 50% silver. It's the last year that uh, that, Can that Canada used silver in their coinage. They had um, they had silver quarters and dimes for that year, but uh, they were 50%. So found that in with that pocket spill of uh, American clad nickels and dimes. Very good. e track has been a good investment so far. Hi, this is Brian here. First 100 hours with the e track We're approaching about hour 15 or so. Uh, I got a signal about, oh, six inches down, and it was reading up as uh, 1245, 1246. And I dug and I see a silver rim right there. Looks like we might have a silver dime. So let's see what we have. Whoops, sorry, I apologize for that. It's a new camera. And it is a mercury dime. 1942. And I can't see the mint mark. There's some crusty stuff there I can't clean off. So that has E-Track on the board with three silvers in 15 hours. All right, I'll come back if I find anything good. Okay, this is Brian again. I had another 1245 screaming signal. Uh, I think it's in this little clump of dirt right here. So we'll take a look here, see what's in here. Well, looky there, it's silver. All right. That's E-Track with two silvers here within 15 minutes. This looks to be a Roosevelt dime. And I'll have to clean that up later and tell you what it is, but more silver. All right, that's four total silver for the E-Track, uh, just on the outside of hour 15. I'll come back if I get something else cool. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Brian here. The light's going down, but I found one more silver today. We're in about hour 17 with the E-Track, and this would make silver number five. It's a Roosevelt dime, and it was uh, signaling about 1244 on the E-Track. There's also some iron really close by. I took the, the quick, quick mask and uh, showed me there was a lot of iron nearby, too. 1960. 1960 Roosevelt dime. All right, number five. Looks like we'll call it a day today. Thanks for watching. All right, this is Brian here. 17 of the first 100 hours with the E-Track are done. We've got uh, $10.45 in clad. I found a clad Kennedy half a dollar. It's the first one of those I've ever found. It's pretty neat. And uh, you're probably asking, why did I dig all these zinc pennies? Well, the E-Track is, is new. With my old detector, I kind of left those zinc pennies in the ground because you can see here in the zinc penny find of the week what tends to happen to them under there. But that one of those stacks is at least good, spendable. Once I get more familiar with the E-Track machine, I probably won't dig as many of them. Uh, some wheat pennies there. The oldest one was a 1911. There was a 1917, a 20D, a 32, and then uh, some of the 40s. And then five silver, two Roosevelt dimes, a 59P, a 60P, two mercury dimes. Both of them are 1942Ps, and then a uh, 
50% silver, 1968 Canada dime. Um, all in all, not a good or not a bad haul for the first 17 hours with the E-Track. Thanks for joining me. I hope to show you the rest of my 100 hours. Oops. And learn how to use this camera.